graduated from ULL in the spring of 2016. Currently, I am working on a second master's degree in library science from LSU. graduating from UL in 2016 and moved back to Northwest Arkansas and I taught high school in Eureka Springs which is a rural community just below the Arkansas-Missouri border. Um, I taught everything from economics to world history, American history, and even a little bit of speech and psychology thrown in there as well. While my time there was brief, I really think that I was able to make an impact on my students and help them understand the intricacies of learning about history and learning about social studies um, and really get them excited about that content. After leaving Eureka, I moved back to Louisiana where I started working in the Bossier Parish Library System and I started my master's degree in Library and Information Science at LSU. Currently, I work in the Arlington Public Library System in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and I work as the training coordinator for library staff. So what that means is I do all kinds of research for best library practices, current library trends, anything that's going on within the library that our staff might need to know about. I'm the one who's going to kind of research that and see how we can best adjust our system and adjust what we're doing to make our patrons satisfied and give them the best experience here at the library. that staff are saying, things that kind of some feedback on how we can make their jobs easier. I also try to advocate for giving them little shout outs for how awesome they're doing and how hard they're working, especially during COVID. It was very insane. So you might see me putting together our joyful jars, which is just a little kind of thank you to our staff for keeping a positive attitude, for going above and beyond for your coworkers, all kinds of different reasons that staff can give I also serve as kind of a staff advocate, so you might see me going to our administrators and telling them how great they're doing, um, some feedback on programs that we're trying, and just kind of making sure that our staff are represented and, and feel heard in the whole process here. One of the things that came out of COVID is that I kind of became a safety advocate and a morale boosters, so you might see me doing research on the latest information about COVID and how to keep ourselves and patrons safe, or you might see me putting together one of our joyful jars, which was an initiative that I started here to just kind of recognize our staff for being amazing and keeping everything going and just making sure that our patrons still have access to our materials and to our resources. Um, so just a small shout out for some of the awesome work that they do. Um, there are all kinds of reasons why staff might get nominated for the Joyful Jar and it's really been well received. Finally, I'm part of a diversity initiative here at the library where we are seeking to enhance our collection with diverse materials and make sure that we have content that is accessible and accurate and just represents the diverse culture and diverse community that we have here in Arlington. We're also working on a project for Juneteenth and we're going to show how 
Arlington has celebrated Juneteenth throughout the years and how it's kind of expanded to become a national and even global celebration. Um, so my role in that was to do a lot of research and a lot of writing to kind of show how Arlington has celebrated Juneteenth and how Juneteenth has, has spread. We were hoping to have a series of history harvests to get some materials into the library so that we can digitize them and post them to our website. Unfortunately, COVID had different plans, so we kind of had to do a virtual history harvest, but we are looking to put that stuff on our website very, very soon, and it'll be really exciting when that finally happens. Um, one of the things that I want people in the history department to know is that just because you're not doing a quote-unquote traditional history job, so you're not becoming a professor, you're not becoming a history teacher, you can still use those skills. I use my skills that I learned in the history department every single day, and I'm always proud to call myself a historian, and it definitely will prepare you for whatever field you might find yourself in. So just learn how to market those skills, and you will find something that you are passionate about and that you love.